the once in a lifetime series in this video here we're going to be exploring upper part of Michigan along the Lake Huron side. We're starting in Sault Ste. Marie at the locks. Going to travel down through St. Ignace across the big bridge into Mackinac City. This should be one epic trip. All this footage was shot in the month of August. So sit back, get ready, enjoy the ride, and the journey starts right now. Well, there's our last look at Lake Superior. <laughs> this is Bay Mills Resort. That's a casino, restaurant, resort, RV park. I've been here for three days. Nothing but rain, rain, and guess what? More rain. <laughs> Pretty place. Finally going to be able to get on the road. I've been waiting out the weather. I did not want to just keep trucking. We're going to see some epic, historic sights today. Before we start trucking south, let me get packed up and we'll hit the road. Really looking forward to this. Uh, when I was up to here a couple years ago, uh, I didn't make it up this far when I was up in the UP. So, really looking forward to seeing these locks. All right, I'd say we're getting in town and we got blue sky still. Chances of rain. Uh, they get a lot of storms coming out of Canada. We are right on. The U.S. Canada border up here, too. So, I still have one more night at Bay Mills. So, once I visit this area, I'm gonna head back, and then tomorrow we're dropping south. One thing about traveling. What I do with the videos is uh, weather can goofy up. I usually figure a few days for weather, but not three in a row. That was quite a bit. Looks like uh, we just missed a little rain here. Oh well. Make the best of it like we always do. This should be pretty cool. Alright, I'd say we're getting into downtown Sioux, St. Marie. Nine o'clock in the morning. You know, it's August. The entire country's in a heat wave, and up here, <laughs> it's beautiful. I got a jacket on right now. How about that? Ooh, bridge. Looks like they're working on it. Old brick buildings. This is an old, old town. What's the sign say? Wow. Established. 1600. I remember those days. <laughs> wow. That's something. Hard to even imagine that, isn't it? Three, four hundred years ago. This should be good. Yeah, the, there's a viewing deck we're going to find. It's a park it's right on the channel where all the locks are, all the shipping traffic. A lot of boats come through here. Ships, actually, not boats. What am I saying? Big old brick building there. You can always tell the age with the old fire escape. Those metal fire escapes. They build them different now though, huh? 
well, I'm just following Google Maps. We should go up here a couple more blocks and then we'll be right on the water where that park is. Sioux Park, I think is the name of it. There are actual RV parks right on the water. I tried, I mean, really, really tried to get into those, but they are totally sold out. And I can see why with just this weather. Okay, this is our street. Straight ahead across that water is uh, Canada. Hello, Canada. Wow, these buildings just keep going, don't they? And parking for the van. When I looked at it hard online, there's some RV parking just past the park. So we're going to look for that. Colorful. Look at that building, that blue. It's like a magazine, huh? These buildings. Absolutely beautiful. There's our park on the right. Yay! I think we're here. Ooh, flowers, big old trees. That looks like the entrance. That's a little museum there. I think we can get in there. Hey, hey, found it. Look at that. Right there. RV only, so I'll fit. Van's 24 feet long, so I would have taken up two spaces otherwise. Wow, look how close we are. Big old barge ship, huh? Woof. Thing is huge. All this is fenced. This should be cool. Got a little bit of a walk, not too far. Rain's holding off. Cool. Well, I put two hours worth of coins in the parking meter. We should be good shape. Take a little stroll right here at Sioux St. Marie. Right along the waterfront. What's this? Great Lakes Shipwrecks Historical Society. We'll hit this on the way out. I don't even think they're open quite yet. Let's check out the locks first. Hopefully catch a couple ships going through it. And go from there. It looks like I gotta go through security up here too. Hey, all in. They just make sure you don't have no knives or guns or anything like that. Very nice. Security guard. This is all heavily patrolled and secure, which it should be. In this place, this green and plush. Oof. <laughs> Love it. Humid too, you can really, even though it's cool, feel the humidity. 
International Shipmasters Association, I bet. Can you imagine for hundreds of years all the ships that have passed through here? Is this what connects uh, Huron to Superior? Pretty easy access. Big old ramps. Oop, I see the deck. Made it. Gravity operated boat elevator. Yes, they are. There it is. This is all glass. Let's go up another level. What do you think? Yeah, trying to film through this glass isn't the best. But look at this. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, here we go. Let's check out the locks. Wow, this place is huge. My goodness, it's big. To see it in person, it's really something. Well, there's that one ship we seen when we parked. raise and lower the water quite a bit. You can see the levels. Even got lawn in between the locks. Go mow the lawn in there. Huh? Straight across, that's Canada. I mean, we're right on our U.S. border with Canada. I'm sure they drain these and dredge them. And tons of maintenance. There's looks like a ship right waiting to come in right there. Well, there you go. They just opened those gates a little bit. Must be something coming in. All by gravity. Things are long and huge. Wonder what they charge a ship to come through. There has to be fees for this. Oops, they changed their mind. <laughs> Gates coming back down. That bridge there, that, I think that's I-75 that goes across into Canada. There you go. Look how much lower he is over there. He's getting ready to head out. These Great Lakes, they're like many oceans. I mean, my goodness, they're huge. They're signaling they're underway. You know, there's YouTube channels on a lot of these places. I know Duluth has a real popular channel with all the ships coming in out of the port. Too. That port building is old brick. Those walls could talk, huh? Wow, those are just like a floating little town. That's where all them guys live. Weeks at a time, I'm sure. Well, let's 
see. That's an Equinox Class 4. Let's hang for a while. I mean, this, this is cool. No hurry. Maybe we can catch another uh, one or two ships coming through. But, I mean, what accent? We are right here on top of it. <laughs> What a marvel to build this uh, viewing deck like this. If you ever get a chance, check this out. There's the guys on the deck. Waiting to head out to sea. Well, there he goes. Noisy here, huh? They just filled this uh, one in front of us. That's probably why they opened a the gate. Now it's full. There must be a ship coming in here. Oh, cool. A passenger ship. This ought to be cool. Pretty good size. That'd be fun to take one of them around the Great Lakes, huh? Probably takes you up into Canada and everything. Well, they just threw the ropes down. Like them two guys are going to hold that ship. <laughs> Teasing, they tie them off. So they're going to lower him. Flush him out the other side. This ought to be good. Ocean Navigator. I don't see a flag yet. See what country, if it's Canada or U.S. Huh. Might need to Google that. some folks up on the deck they're taking pictures of me taking pictures of them <laughs> heck yeah there's the captain up there guiding his ship in checking it out wonder how many crew members they have on one this size. Probably quite a few. I've never taken a cruise. Thought about it, but I don't know. Okay, this one's called the American Queen Voyages. There's their lifeboats. Wow, those are orange, aren't they? So it probably holds quite a few people. There they are. See if we can get any of them to wave at us. Well, no one waving yet. This thing's going to lower down right in front of us. What access, huh? <laughs> it's getting closer. I don't know, to me, I get bored easy. You put me on a boat like this, and I don't know, maybe a day or two. But after that, 
I'd be climbing the walls. Yeah, that's way up there. Looks like they're going to start tying it off pretty quick. There's one uh, rope on it. There's a lot of tension on that back line there. Looks like you're getting ready to close down the gates. Start lowering this big ship down. Well, they sure don't waste any time. The ship's coming down. It's dropping quick. Keep the boats moving. Now we'll be eye to eye with these people. <laughs> They're probably in their cabins in there looking out the window to say, hey, look at that guy with a GoPro. Wearing a jacket. Probably drives a white van. <laughs> well, it's turned out to be a pretty day. Yeah, this thing's dropping quick. Wow, we're almost looking down on the upper deck there. Now you can really see those light boats. There, now you can see how far we're dropping down. Power of water. You can hear the folks talking, but really noisy here. It echoes through here off this uh, observation deck. Well, I think we're almost all the way down. It's amazing, huh? Something this big. Alright, let's be nosy. Zoom in on these boats. My goodness, look at that. I think if I read that right, 61 people can fit on that. Capacity 61, I think that says. Boy, you better like each other on that thing, huh? <laughs> of course, it's saving your life. Oh, let's walk down to the other end and watch it go out. Pretty darn cool. I've never seen anything like this this close. Now you can see it's all the way down. My goodness. <laughs> Hello, Captain. What was that TV show? The Love Boat. Well, the gates are open. they got to raise that other one yet. This ocean voyager can head out to sea. Wonder where they're going. ahead. Now they're heading out to Lake Huron. Big upper deck. 
but in this cool weather, I don't know how many people would sit up there. I'll have to look up this uh, liner. See what they charge. Kind of interested now, seeing it up this close. There they are, they're waving. Yay! Finally waving. What do you say? We'll go down and check their little visitor center here, and then maybe that shipwreck museum. Another ship goes to sea. There's their visitor area. Gorgeous flowers here for late in the summer. Close to the end of August. Ah, there's a cool shot. That's what. We were looking down, there's Canada to the right, and the U.S. to the left. Pretty cool aerial. 7,000 plus passages, each. there's our answer. 7,000 ships or more. 1798, first lock on the St. Mary's River. How do the locks work? All gravity. We just seen that. Twenty-two million gallons of water to lift the boat. Look at that! They got live tracking of all the boats in real time. Yeah, you can do that on your phones now and everything. Well, pretty cool history. I'm so glad I waited to come up here. I mean, that's hard to be stuck in the rain, but... 82,000 square miles. 150 million kilowatts hour every year. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know they uh, generated power out of these. All the maintenance, all the different decades, generations, centuries. <laughs> Reconstruction. All right, well, we say we'll head towards uh, that other building. And it should be open. Signs out now. Historical Society gift shop. Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society. It's okay to take a picture, right? Sure. Okay. Even if I'm me, I'll leave it. <laughs> yeah. I won't even charge it. You won't?
A lot of shipwrecks, huh? There's been over 6,000, <coughs> excuse me, 6,000 shipwrecks in the 400 years of the Great Lakes being open to navigation. Six thousand wrecks at Edmund Fitzgerald, probably the most famous because of the song. They date way back. I know on TV you see some of those shows where they come out and scuba dive and try to find and document some of this stuff. U.S. Weather Bureau. Yeah, these storms, they really brew off these lakes. Good morning, Good morning Welcome to the historic Weather Bureau building. Oh, even old pipes from the captains. Whitefish Point Lighthouse. I don't know if we've seen that one. A lot of lighthouses up here. Look at that. People would stand on the shorelines with lanterns warning the coastline. Just a totally different world, huh? There's the Edmund Fitzgerald. Boy, that song sure made that thing. Wow, can you imagine? Is that fine? Is that fine? Is that fine? Is that fine? All right. Well, it's a small area, small building, but it's packed with big information. Definitely, if you get up here, check this out. Got a little gift shop here. Which route, which route you go and how fast you drive. So, yeah. Good morning. Uh oh, there's the meter reader. Oh, I hope I didn't run out of coins. Yeah, you could just sit here all day long, bring your little lunch. Just watch these ships pass through here. Probably what a lot of people do. Bet winters aren't really good here. I bet it gets cold and snowy. Yay, the van still here. <laughs> I had two hours on the meter, so I don't know. Should be good. That one's heading out, heading into Lake Superior. Canada Steamship. Bunch of cargo holes in those. Sure is fun exploring up here around the Great Lakes. And what access here. I know I keep saying that, but my goodness. Normally you see them way out on the lake. You don't get a very close look at any of these things. Pretty cool. Let's cruise back through the way we came in. Check out some more of these old buildings. I don't know when I, or if I'll ever get back up this way. 
is a long ways up here. We're in the very upper part of Upper Michigan. <laughs> Well, it's definitely a military. You got what Coast Guard up here? There's a VFW. Motels. Lots of restaurants. I'm sure it is good. Restaurant with an upper story. So, oh, so they could see the water. Lock view while you eat. say this is the way we came in yeah those RV parks too bad they were straight down that street and you're right on the waterway right on the river but there is just no way I tried for two days three days being stuck in the rain because I kept saying call back we get a cancellation well nope I'm going to head back to that Bay Mills. I, I booked one more night just in case. Ooh, old movie theater there. Just in case, because I wasn't sure on the weather if I was going to get rained out this morning. But we didn't. Yay. We actually got to see the locks in this old bridge here. Tomorrow we're going to drop south. Not Miles-wise, not that far. Only about... 30 40 miles to St. Ignace. We're supposed to have a really cool boardwalk. We can walk around the shorelines of Lake Huron. And we'll maybe find an old lighthouse down there. But RV or TV style, we just keep rolling. <laughs> No storm stopping us, huh? morning look at it it rained all night sixty six degrees in August I'll still take it I was looking at radar here's a Bay Mills uh, Resort, Casino, Restaurant. I ate in there last night. Really good food. I'm not much of a gambler, so I could have cared less about that. But cool little stop. Ever get a chance, come up here. But on my phone app radar for weather, it, we'll, we'll drive out of this here shortly. We only got about 40 miles to head south. Looking better already. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep heading out. As soon as I see some blue sky, we'll kick uh, the cameras on. Hey, hey, rain let up. Little bit of blue sky, patchy clouds. And say we're green light to go explore St. Ignace.
Well, what I read about this last night, it should be a cool little town to explore. They got a big boardwalk. We can walk around the waterway. Also down here is the Mackinac Bridge, Mackinac Bridge. We're going to cross that in the morning. The land of trees up here. Every road is so tree-lined. Okay, this is Business 75. Interstate 75, I could have taken it this morning. It was only, what, not even 40 miles down here. But I thought, we'll take the scenic route. But yeah, everything's tree-lined. Woohoo, there's our first look. There's Lake Huron, yay. Yeah, tomorrow when we go over to Mackinac City, I thought we'd uh, take the Lake Huron side out of, out of Michigan. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. We're in a van with a plan. <laughs> Looks like they're building a new motel, hotel there. Bayview Motel, Beaumont, this is Motel Row here, I imagine the tourism, my goodness, just the weather here to come up and enjoy this cool weather in the summertime, oh. now even though with it cool though, the humidity is higher, I, f I notice it more because I'm from out west, Arizona, locals here probably think it's great. All right, I gotta figure out a place to park. Get down here a little ways. There's uh, ferries that'll take a, take you out to the island. I'm not gonna do that. Not in a van. This costs too much. So we're gonna stay inland and explore the sights. I think there should be parking hopefully up here somewhere <laughs> I'm sure but this boardwalk it really had a lot of good reviews to walk it ooh free parking well dock 3 free parking yay Mackinac Island Ferry Terminal I gotta turn around here. I'll go find one of them free parking places. We're here. Yeah, hey, can park here for free. All day long, just can't spend the night. If you go out on the ferry, then you gotta pay for parking. Well, I grabbed a bunch of batteries because this is gonna be quite a walk. A few clouds, hopefully, it clears back up. Plus, there's a lighthouse. We gotta find this lighthouse. Maybe one of these times. Oh, look at these guys. They're watching me. What a bunch of bums, huh? Waiting around. Is that a bird's eye view? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. There's that lighthouse. We got to get over there. That's quite a ways out. I'm zoomed in. Looks like this is where all the ferry boats get loaded and hauling people over to the island. 
pretty cool. This this goes back a long time here, huh? lot of people here they probably go out and spend the night out there in the island huh ferry boats are lining up to load people they probably run a bunch of them but here's the boat you want hire a private one It's actually kind of perfect parking there. Pretty good location. Well, I'm just going to follow the path and the signs. Going to have it on the phone a little bit. See where we end up. Well, the goal is to make it to the lighthouse. That's our goal. All the flowers still going. here. Ooh, a park. Yay. Just sit here and watch the world go by. Huh. <laughs> little cutouts for little kids to get pictures. Here's your bench under the tree. Feed the birds. Except for all the traffic noise. Pretty place. Pretty place. Yeah, what a busy street. Main street all the way through town. Bet the history goes back here forever. Well, we'll walk up this side, find a lighthouse, and maybe come back on the other side of the road. See some old building over there. Wanas Beach. Here you go. Downtown history. What's in the water? The dark colored debris is actually tree bark from the 1800s okay probably from all the logging they floated the logs huh? there goes one of the ferries out to the island and all the ships here I think around that lighthouse I was reading there's a uh, part of the old dock still left down there. We'll find out. There goes one out. Bunch of happy campers heading out to the island. I would say there's our walking path right there. That's what it looked like online. All right, let's get going. Well, 
glad I wore a sweater. <laughs> Little chilly. Right here in the beach of Lake Huron. Okay, here we go. Yay. Yeah, I came up through Michigan a couple years ago. Now, I did spend time in uh, Mackinac City, but all this I skipped. Okay, what's in the water? Oh, they're talking about the brown. Oh, there it is. That brown stuff, that's tree bark from 150 years ago. Wow. Huh. Hundred and fifty years, just like yesterday. Structures of the Native American, sixteen hundreds. They probably camped right along the shoreline here, or lived, not camp. Or if they could see it now, come back four hundred years later. Say, what the heck did you guys do to our, <laughs> our shoreline? Well, keep on walking. These businesses are right here on the water. North Country National Scenic Trail. This is what we're on. Trail Town. Quite the effort. I mean, this is all the boards. It's like a boardwalk. 25% off moccasins. Beautiful flowers, wildflowers. Just perfect views, too. Here you go. Totem pole. Got the eagle on top. That's cool. Looks like it's been painted recently. Weather here has to be hard on paint jobs. Indian Village Gifts. Bet a bunch of that old wood down there is from tying up boats. Here you go, French Traders, 1644. Came up here and settled, traded with the Indians. Wow. History everywhere we go. We're saving history on video. Oh, we're running out of wood. Still got a path going now. Here we go. Looks like a brand new little dock here, a little viewing area.
Brand spanking new. Well, I can see that lighthouse off in the distance. That's where we're heading. It's not getting closer any time soon. It's a ways away. It's going to be a few mile walk. Ah, uh, the fishing here, I bet. Huge industry. Drying racks for fishing nets. Ooh, another storyboard. Watery graveyard. Oh, the shipwrecks. Between the lakes, my goodness. These boards are kind of beat up, hard to read. 10,000 ships have fallen to the seas. My goodness. Cedarville is the largest shipwreck in the preserve. Popular attraction for scuba divers. 10 lives, 35 feet deep. slip it's a device used to raise and lower the mast or the anchor raise the anchor huh on the big old wooden boats pretty cool a mural. I always love these murals. They're just so huge with the detail on them. Attention to detail. Very well done. be their old town hall or courthouse or something. We'll come back on the other side. We'll walk it. Go another park. Connors Park. City Park here. Look at this, historic Mackinac boat. My goodness, they saved it. Even has the, what was that, the rudder for steering it? Mackinac boat, old, old sailboat. Interesting. Pretty good how they got it uh, cased like this. Hopefully it's there for a long time for people to see. Now that's real cool. All right, back to the boardwalk, huh? Pizza. Well, you're on the boardwalk. But the food here is really, really good. Seafood. Those clouds are just kind of hanging out over the water, but right here, you see little patches of blue sky. 
I could see myself sitting here every day watching the boats go in and out. In August, when it's 65 degrees. <laughs> Not in the winter. Facilities. Oh, for the big ships. They must tie up out there. An enjoyable pathway, walkway, boardwalk, whatever you want to call it. Still haven't found a lighthouse yet. <laughs> What's this one? Diving into history. Oh, for 300 years. People dive here, find the artifacts from all the shipping vessels. Pretty cool. So if you're a scuba diver like that stuff, this is the place to come do it. There's a little map of the businesses down here. We're walking past quite a few. More of that black uh, tree bark. That's something all these years later and it's still washing up. Cool looking bench. Old like me. in the Great Lakes. It's a good look at the layout of them. They're huge. Inland oceans, huh? There we are. See us? Standing right here on the boardwalk. <laughs> Wasn't those locks cool up at Sault Ste. Marie yesterday? I'll remember that for a long time, That, especially that uh, passenger ship coming through. It was so close, you could almost reach out and touch it. There's City Marina. With all the boats. I think we're getting closer to the lighthouse. Yay. Been walking a long way. Not too bad, though. I mean, with this temperature, which is perfect. It's really enjoyable. Still glad I wore uh, this little uh, sweater jacket. Well, fish, sculpture, memorial. Oh. To all the fishermen lost at sea here. Names, dates, vessel. Huh. I bet there's been quite a 
few tragedies on these Great Lakes. All right, we're getting close to that lighthouse. I know it. Ooh, more storyboards. Let's check these. That traffic is non-stop on that road. French missions. About the early settlers here. Trappers. The French come to the straits. Imagine jumping in your canoe and taking off out and across the lake here on oh man fortifying talking about defending the uh, area look at them old uh, guns huh we'll see more of that tomorrow when we're down in Mackinac City there's an old fort and a lighthouse we're going to look at down there like more about the French culture. These signs are pretty beat up. Okay, let's keep trucking. What's this one? Popular local hikes. We're on one right now. We've been walking a long ways. And oh, more about that National Scenic Trail through all the states. Okay, we're going to go find that lighthouse now. See it? Way out there. Water's calm inside these uh, break walls. Pretty windy right now. Another park here. What a neat place. There's the size of one of those break walls with all the rock. Those aren't going anywhere, huh? Imagine the storms when they hit it. These waves can really get going on these lakes. Big storms. Plaque for the park here. Catch those on the way back. It's like a track. So this must be ah the, that dock. You know when you look at this um, stuff on Google Maps, they show you a lot of pictures. Now it's starting to make sense. The chief dock. Yep, this is it. That big old ferry boat used to berth here. This must be it up here, what's left of it. Old concrete. I'll be there forever.
mooring. Oh, more about the mooring facilities. They are out there. Yay, we found the lighthouse. Finally. Two miles later. Truthfully, it feels good to be out of that van. I've been stuck in it for weeks. Especially after being in there because all the rainstorms that you got to stay inside. I did a lot of editing and work and stuff, but still not the same. We're supposed to be traveling this time of year. Well, here's another... Michigan Lighthouse, right here on Lake Huron. Quite a bit of that old dock in there left. Overgrown with the vegetation. This thing looks fairly re newly repainted, doesn't it? Made it though, yay. <laughs> cool beans. And what's this? So thank you, Plaque, for all the, looks like the donors made all this possible. Saving history. Got to. Wow, metal, huh? That's a tall one. Quite a view out here, though. Imagine that big old uh, ship coming in all the time and docking here. All oh, the tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of people travel through this area. That's what I think about when I come out to these places. Who was here before me? Let's head on back towards the van. Check out some of these old buildings on this side. That is yellow. Looks like a 
lodge, bed and breakfast maybe. Beautiful purple flowers. Sixty four degrees. Perfect. Busy, busy place. I guess with all the tourism, motels are probably hopping. Getting near the end of summer. Of course, here it's probably year round. You could probably do ice fishing on the lakes. Somebody painted that wall. Creative arts. Show gifts. Uh oh, fudge. Oh no. <laughs> Gain weight just walking down the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm sure it is good too. Kind of getting hungry. Oh no, here's another one. Chocolates. Zach and Mac chocolate. Oh man. No way am I going in there. Uh-uh. Hand dip chocolate and ice cream. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Keep walking, Russell. <laughs> It's an old building. Front's all redone. You can still see on the side the painted sign. This is an old garage, old cart. Garage dealer. First automotive garage here in town. Wow. Boy, that is old. All the old wood front. That'd be something, huh? Well, they're saving it. Look at the pictures. Wow, look at all them logs. Piled up there. There's that ship. Right out that dock we just walked past out there. here probably their local cop shop police department the sidewalk is all red brick too you can always tell the, the age by the style of windows Municipal building. Been here a long, long time. Here you go. Old fort built by the French. 1671. Established a mission here. 1700s. I mean... That's way before the independence of U.S. and all that, 1770s. Yeah, it's like almost 100 years before. There's your bell. Every town has a bell. 
You can always find one somewhere. This one's for the flagpole. More their walking tour. Let's see what else we can find. Marquette Park. See what, oh wow, look at them flowers. Beautiful. Oh, it's the mission. 1671 was established here. More about the French. Think that's original? Maybe, huh? We got more uh, stuff back here. Let's check it. The stonework here is beautiful. That's fairly new, though. Got a fountain. Storyboards back there. That's an old building. I like the rounded windows with the stained glass. Old memorial. That's hard to read. See what this says. Oh, it's the grave of the Father Marquette. That's cool. Honoring him. Across the streets where we started that little park. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> About the missionary explorer Jacques Marquette. Well, if you think about it, think how far away we are from France. I mean, we're inland in Michigan up on the Great Lakes. That is a very, very long ways from France. Black robes of the wilderness. Well, there is just a ton of history here. Quite a bit about this priest. A bustling 17th century town. All around the Great Lakes. it back. I actually am going to spend the night on this side of the bridge. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to be over in Mackinac City.
Well, that's pretty good. Parked down here for free. Walked all the way around. Got to see the lighthouse. Didn't cost anything. Had to run past those two chocolate shops <laughs> before I went in there and bought chocolate and ice cream and all that good stuff. I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> Even with the overcast, it wasn't bad. It, it didn't rain, thank goodness. That was the only thing that could have drowned it out was a, those showers come back. Not sure I'll check weather. It's probably going to rain again tonight. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out my website or TV. There you can sign up for my free newsletter. Also, I have free screensaver downloads. All you gotta do is enter your email address and you'll have access to all that. Newsletter comes out twice a month, usually right around the 5th and the 20th of each month. Also, I have a merch store, all kinds of cool stuff. Coffee mugs, t-shirts, hats, stickers, cookbook coloring books, journals, all kinds of cool things. Once again, it's rvertv.tv. And it helps support the channel and future travels, just like this one through the upper part of Michigan. Well, I just had a cool thought. There's a access. We can go down to the water and be able to see the Mackinac Bridge. Then I'm going to camp at a KOA straight ahead before I go out there. Want to see the bridge? Heck yeah. <laughs> and this is I-75. We'll be taking this in the morning. This is actually how we go across the bridge here. I figured with the weather, I'll just wait it out, and then hopefully in the morning we'll have a little bit better blue sky when we go check out Mackinac City. Alright, pull in here. I stopped here a couple years ago. Pretty good viewpoint. A few people here, and there's the bridge. Wow, look at the traffic backed up because you pay on this side, you got to pay across it. Tomorrow morning, we'll be going over it. You know, there's a little uh, visitor center here. Let's go check it out. And this is uh, the Straits between uh, Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. Isn't this a neat place? Definitely come here like day use. Grab a lunch. Sit here and watch it. You can actually see the ships go underneath that bridge from here. A lot of people don't like crossing that bridge. These winds here can really get screaming.
Let's go in this. Last time I was here, this is all closed down. Civil Engineering Landmark. Probably from the construction of the bridge, huh? Yep. Okay, here you go. Pictures. A lot of history of the straits, the lakes. And all the ships. Gotta cut the check, build the bridge. Then all the construction putting in those big uh, piers to hold this thing up. There it is going up. Wow, then hanging the deck off the cables. There it is. Well, pretty cool. I always wondered what was in here. Last time I was here, all this was locked down. Because all the pandemic stuff. I know a lot of people don't like crossing this bridge. Maybe because of the length or the wind. More old ships. Back in the day, huh? Hauling people. Cars, cargo. Wow, look at the size of that monster, huh? That's cool. It's like its own little world here. Check out the floor, how they got it all tiled off like the Great Lakes. That's neat. Well, it's free to come in here. It doesn't cost anything. Neat little park. Get a good uh, picture of the bridge. Check out this little building. Oh, yeah. Look at this bell up here. What they call it? A fog bell. Used to hang off the bridge so it warned the ships if it was foggy so they didn't plow their boat right in the bridge. Now everyone's got sonar and radar and everything. Alright, well, go find that RV park. Unload the cameras, get the batteries charged up tomorrow, We're crossing that bridge. Gonna be over in Mackinac City. Well, good morning. Finally a night without rain. We got a little cloud cover, but no rain. This is a KOA. We're only about a mile down from the Mackinac Bridge. This place is all right. It was uh, very busy, very clean, and very convenient. I'll put it that way. <laughs> Yeah.
and we will be leaving the Upper Peninsula. Quite of a eventful trip up through here over the last three weeks. Came up through Wis on the Wisconsin side, all along the upper shore of Wisconsin, over here in the Michigan, UP. Over to Sault Ste. Marie. Now we're down here getting ready to cross this big, impressive bridge. This is uh, I-75 South. It's also uh, interstate. They charged to cross it just on this side. There's a toll. When I drove across it a couple years ago, it was really windy, but a lot clearer sky. You could see farther. A lot of people don't like driving this thing. Okay, I don't have a pass. I gotta get in the pay line here. Away we go. So long, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. In the clouds and the rain. <laughs> There's a long bridge. I don't think they allow bicycles or pedestrians on it. I remember reading they have a bridge walk, annual bridge walk. I think it's in September. We can walk across it. They close it down for a holiday or something. Okay, now we're climbing up. It's tall enough for the big ships to come underneath. And see, uh, one lane has grading. You can see straight down into the water. That's probably because uh, for ice and snow, winds. I mean, it's windy today. It's windy here. Quite a feat of engineering now. But it's still all Michigan. <laughs> it's all Michigan. Connects up old uh, Lake Michigan to uh, Lake Huron. Yeah, once we get across, we're going to go check out a lighthouse and... Uh, that old fort. We're halfway, yay! <laughs> Downhill from here. You can sure hear that uh, grating, cars going over that steel grate. And you can see right down into the water. Well, probably keeps ice building up in the winter when the road's wet. Hey, that guy's going fishing. Yay, made it. Now, two years ago, I'll put a link down description for a previous video. 
I did a couple years ago on Mackinac City. And this trip, I would definitely want to check out a lighthouse that was closed the last time I was here. Should be open. Time we get, get here and get parked. Also, I'll rewalk the park uh, that has the fort in it. So I thought that'd be two fun little stops while we're here in this uh, beautiful town in Michigan, Mackinac City. And I should be timing this out just about right. Everything should be opening up about time we get parked. Get the cameras out and get ready to take a little hike. A lot of tourism here. Okay, straight ahead, that's our parking lot. The visitor center, look at it. It's right under the bridge. We just crossed over that bridge. But let's check the lighthouse first. Yeah, right there, that structure underneath there. That's their visitor center. And those trees over there, that's where the fort is, the old fort. And we'll go see the lighthouse first. One major busy highway and bridge. Well, it's the only connection <laughs> on uh, this entire end of Michigan over up to the UP. Well, talk about a protected building with that big steel bridge over top of you. Of course, noisy too. Impressive piece of engineering there. All right, and it held up while we drove over. Well, let's check out this old lighthouse. I was here two years ago, and everything was closed down. Couldn't get in nothing. Right here is their little state park. British history, then you got the French, the Indians. Once we go to the fort, that thing uh, changed hands several times during different uh, battles. The history here goes way, way, way back. Just like the ocean, constant roar of the water. All right, what we got here? Revolutionary times. If I remember right, they had reenactments at the fort. Here's lay of the land of the state park. Not very big, not very big at all. but it's got big time history. We still got a few minutes left before they open.
take a little stroll along the beach. There's our lighthouse. That's the one that was closed last time. So hopefully we can get inside of it. And who knows how many ships it saved with its light. Probably never hear the good stories of the ones that it helped out. Just all the shipwrecks. Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse, 1892. My goodness. There is another lighthouse. Once again, that other video I did a couple of years ago. The, check the link down the description. There will be a link for that. Yeah, but just the construction of this thing. It's like a fortress. Still standing. It is still there. Probably still be there in another hundred years. Well, we'll see if it's open. Well, I got about ten minutes yet. They're not quite open. Let's walk down to the other end of the park. See what's down here. I see storyboards. And look at that array of sunshine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, shipwrecks. Talking about the different shipwrecks here. Right here in the Straits. I bet there's a bunch of them. Right out there. They didn't see the light. It's me, but it's definitely warmer on this side of the bridge from the upper peninsula. This one building the Mighty Mac. It's about the construction, timing, pretty much same stuff we've seen at the visitor center. Graveyard of the Deep. More about the shipwrecks. Loss of life. Look, it pinpoints where they are. There's a Cedarville. Minneapolis. Eighteen ninety-four. Yeah, a lot of these date way back. Sixteen seventy-nine. Cedarville sank in 1965 after colliding with a Norwegian freighter. Oh, in dense fog. Ten lives lost. All right, it's open. Yay. We can go on in. Let's check out this old Mackinac Point Lighthouse. This should be cool. Fog signals. 
Warn where the shoreline is, probably, huh? Okay, here we go. Shipwreck Museum. like artifacts oh look they even have a video of the wreck now that is cool lost with all hands 1856 and found uh, artifacts and there's some of them Eber Ward Cut by ice, 1909. Old steamer, huh? There it is. This is really cool how they have a video of this. Wow. If you're a scuba diver, man, this is a place to come be a treasure trove of history you could look at. Mackinac Underwater Preserve. Oh my goodness, I'm glad I came here. Salvage success. Captain John Rowan. See, you don't hear about this stuff in Arizona. <laughs> you sure do out here if you're around the Great Lakes. 1895. And they put names and faces to all this. With artifacts. Very good record keeping back in those days, huh? Couldn't he imagine for a while you're floating in a big old ship, and next thing you're getting plucked out of the water by the Coast Guard. All due to weather, huh? Fog, ice, storms. There's that Cedarville, 19, that is a big <laughs> ship, big old cargo hauler, pieces from it. Well, if you're ever in this neck of the world, definitely pop in here to this uh, old lighthouse uh, shipwreck museum. I go to a lot of museums. This is uh, very, very well done. Very done, well done, very well lit.
Well, you have to take a tour over there in the main lighthouse. So I got to hustle up here. Let's check this building. Oh. oh, about the bridge, maybe, huh? More about shipping. Wow. Loaded with limestone from Calcite near Roger City to carry. Okay, I gotta get over here. They're gonna start the tour pretty soon. You have to go with the guide. No choice. You can look at the downstairs, but not a, going up in the tower. Well, looks like lighthouse keeper jacket. Duties of the keeper. What a job, huh? Light out. Some of them through the years. Some of these guys probably stuck it out for their whole career. Full time job. Raise your families here. It's a cool name, Castle of the Straits. There's the blueprints for the building. An original, 1907. Looks the same. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty much does, doesn't it? That's it. End of an era. Yeah, now they really don't need keepers and lighthouses like the old days. Then the bridge going in, and radar, and <laughs> all the stuff on the ships now. First, invade Mackinac, Mackinac Point. Oh, I bet. What a place to come to here. Well... Like I said in the other building, I've been to a lot of museums. But this is probably on the top of the list for sure. Now that's fun. <laughs> that's for kids, right? I'm a kid. <laughs> Sound waves, low frequency, my goodness. They got everything in here. Well, that tour ought to be starting pretty soon. We get to go up in the lighthouse. Then 
all the info about the lights, the crystals on it. That guy right there. Not that big of a ball visit. Well, they should be starting pretty soon. Oil yep. to electricity. Used to have old oil lights. A lot of people looked out this window right here. A lot of the keepers for the bridge. This one was actually up in our tower. Looking out for the ships. The motor was installed in 1940. Um, that was used to rotate the lens. You can actually still see the maker's mark on the back. It was made in Paris. It says Sautier Luminaire, which um, Sautier is a bulb. Wow, here's our living quarters. Got the old stove. Just so well kept, even today. That was uh, entertainment, old-fashioned YouTube. Get the organ fired up. 1910, huh? And set the table with the good china. Get ready to sit down to dinner. Get the bread bacon in the oven. Those old stoves like that are collectible now. Imagine moving that thing. What a monster. Okay, I think we covered most of the downstairs. About time for that tour to start. So we can go up top. Should be interesting. Well, not yet. Should be any time. They're probably waiting for more people. So the keeper would walk out this door. Go look for boats, ships. Boy, in the summertime, what a perfect place to live. Imagine up here in the winter. Big old driving ice storms off the lake. Oof. Okay, that's where we're going up top. Almost makes you dizzy coming up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I always tell people when you're going back. Oh wow. And luckily it's a nice chilly day so it doesn't get too warm up here. Wow. Because if it was a hot sunny day I'd have that screen over this go. door here to cool it down in here a little bit. I was going to say it's got to get warm up here. Oh yeah, if it's like 80 degrees, this place is like a sauna. Look at the height from the bottom of the window to the top of the window, and that tells you how tall the lens was. Wow. Um, our original Fresnel lens is downstairs. It's the one that's in the room by itself that isn't rotating. Um, that one was the original lens up here. We have it mounted on the stand it would have been mounted on, and that would have been in this room. Now these canvas sheets you see on the back windows, these would have gone over all the windows in the daytime, and that was to protect the Fresnel lens from sunlight. That's because sun that's the Grand Hotel. 
Um, the next island over is Round Island. Well, right in between those two islands, you can see two towers sticking out of the water. Um, those are the two Round Island lighthouses, which are both still in active service. They guide ships through the channel between Mackinac Island and Round Island. This big, big island here, that is Bois Blanc, or Boblo Island, as it's also pronounced. And then to the east, or on the Lake Michigan side, we can see another small island. That's St. Helena Island. And that white tower you see on the island is the St. Helena Lighthouse, which is also an act of service. St. Helena is pretty much uninhabited. They, all they have there is just a small volunteer staff that maintain the lighthouse. Um, and I believe they send like Boy Scouts there. What I like to do is act like you're going to sit on the step, or literally sit on the step, so you head down forwards, scoot right under, and then stand back up. I will say heading down forwards is usually a lot easier, but do whatever makes you feel more comfortable. I'll be the last one down to make sure everyone's uh, cleared the tower, and then I'll meet you folks down at the bottom. Very cool. Actually, too cool for school, huh? Yeah, that stairway getting up in that thing is kind of tight. But you know what? What a world class inside and out preserved lighthouse and museum. Oh my goodness, I highly recommend coming here. It has stood the test of time. My goodness. Well, what do you say? Let's go over to the old port. Wander through there a minute. And then uh, going to hit the road. Going to start dropping south along the Lake Huron shoreline this time. They do charge to get in here. I walked it last time, it was pretty cool, but we might as well do it this trip as well. A lot of this is for the settlers that were here, the British, all the Native Americans, the fort. It's still an active uh, site, too. They're still digging for ruins. I got a gift shop store. All right, let me get checked in. We'll go cruise around. I think I will. Okay. All right, we're in Fort Mackinac. A lot of people come here. Flags of Mackinac. They've had a lot of battles here, that's for sure. I remember that from last time. Roar of that water just doesn't end. Just like the ocean, isn't it? Gotta love it. Nice and green right now, too. Hard to believe it. Summer's winding down. Before you know it, fall colors. Hey, hey, fork in the road, which way? Uh, we'll stick with the water. It's 
still didn't have much sunshine today yet. Maybe when we start heading farther south. I got a reservation at an RV park. It's about a good 100 miles yet. Need to make up a little bit of time. I'm getting behind in my schedule a little bit from all those rain days just sitting. But we had to go see Sioux St. Marie. Fur traders. Oh, I bet. here another storyboard community outside of the walls aha they even have signatures on there there's the fort these trees are growing sideways from all the wind <laughs> Look at that thing. Ooh, big canoe. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Colonial Mission Mackinac. Thank you. Have you visited our site before at all? Uh, two years ago I was here. All right, well, we're glad to have you back so soon. Thanks. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on, of our programs then. Okay. Our 10 o'clock program should be starting shortly, all about the trade goods that are coming in on these uh, freight canoes. That'll be in front of Row House 11. Okay. Then we have our 10.30 mortar firing down at the beach here at the cool. very end past the Watergate. Yeah. And then our 11 o'clock mischief and mayhem at Michelin Mackinac tour. All right. So all about that petty drama while they're moving this uh, fort over to Mackinac Island. Wow. Yes, it's a very fun tour. I would definitely recommend. Okay, thank you. Nice young lady. She forgot to mention one other tour. The RVer TV tour. <laughs> we make our own. <laughs> okay, can you imagine a little wood boat like that out in that big great lake? their cannon they shoot it off every hour or two here's the fort pretty impressive it's been all restored I mean it's great for tourism but waterfront view I wonder, hopefully they're still digging on that site. Because I know last time I was here, they pulled up some artifacts. You could actually see them dig. Good morning. Hi, how you doing, man? Pretty good, yourself? Good. Welcome to Michelin Mackinac. If you're interested, we've just started to talk about the fur trade in front of building number 11 by the church inside. And then at 10.30, our next big demonstration with a mortar right back over here. Nice. Boom, huh? <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. Do you get to do it? Fun stuff, yep. All right. There you go. Workers are happy. There's our garden. The replica storehouse. They have gone all out here on these buildings, all of it. Very impressive. Looks real, doesn't it? Just embrace or embody one era or one thing. And there's just several buildings in here. 
That was our storehouse. I think one of these is a church. They still grow, grow uh, plants and stuff. Winters are harsh here. All these buildings, all that wood survives. Is it this one? Treasures from the sand. Wow, it's quiet in here. Get away from that roar of the water. Old fireplaces. You could actually live here. There it is. There's some of the the ruins that were discovered before they built these buildings. kind of cool there's a plate right in that sand broken plate 1781 just like yesterday <laughs> so they've been digging on this every summer since 1959 Just keep pulling up more and more, huh? That's how you save history. Right there. One little piece at a time. I like watching those TV shows when they... About finding old ruins and that kind of thing. From dirt to display... Part of a bottle. Still partially intact, huh? Probably pretty exciting when you find uh, something like that yourself. Those pipes. Every year they can add to these cases, too. Occupational, so tools, chisels. What's this one? Structural from buildings, hinges, that kind of thing. a little replica of the fort the heck is that thing uh, for a well I'll be darn You drink a water, there you go. The French well. More artifacts. Oh, this is cool. Master map. You can move, move around, find out what's going on. I'll be darned.
Well, we'll go outside, see if they're digging today. Maybe they are. Oh, wow, the jewelry. My goodness. Probably all gold, huh? Gold and silver. There's all the rings. Pretty simple, but very, very old. Crosses. Wow. French stone weight for a scale. That's how they measured it. Go figure on that one, huh? Winter at, oh, I bet winter. Oof. Nice looking garden. You can hear the roar of the water. <laughs> sure quiet in that building there, wasn't it? Well, let's see if we can find their dig site. So authentic. Then they have all their volunteers and workers and the dress all dressed up. Okay, here's the priest house. Fireplace that's been used. There's the priest there himself. Kind of like a big maze in here. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Here's the church. What woodwork, huh? Smells good in here, too. Just real fresh wood smell. The reconstructed church. Well, they've done a very, very good job. Sure, they still use it for functions and whatnot. Here's their altar. digging over here. Yay. They're sifting through all that dirt looking for artifacts. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. We're digging up another house here. 
The scene wow. was a fur trader's house, first French and later British. And they were that deep, that much? Well, the deepest areas, those are cellars. So those oh. were underground at the time as well. The floor level was probably um, not too far off from the highest square over there, maybe a little bit higher than that even. Finding some good stuff. Yeah, we find little things every day. We find bones from the animals they ate, little beads, lead shot, nails, broken glass. Sometimes we find bigger things as well. Oh, cool. Are you saving history? We're trying. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming. Enjoy your visit. Thank you. Yeah, my hat's off to these folks. Isn't that cool? Got to save it. So anyway, this is kind of the fort. I think we see most of it here. A lot of it's reconstructed, but it's still cool. Look at all the fur. Fur trade craftsman. Way of life back then, huh? French architecture. That'd be fun to do for like a weekend, come out and volunteer. I'd do something like that. I wouldn't want to do it all summer. <laughs> be cool to find something neat, some old piece of glass or dish or something. Well, there's something outside the front here. I don't remember this. Looks like uh, reconstructed uh, teepees. Well, if you ever get up this way, Mackinac City, you could spend uh, half a day out here. Go see the lighthouse, check this fort. There's an old historic town. They got ferries that run out to the island. I kind of seen that stuff last time, missed a lot of this. But I am so glad I, we got to see that lighthouse. Oh my goodness. Oof. That was good. Good, good, good. I remember that one. Very, very active. State of Michigan, they, uh, they support this well. We never did hear the gun go off. Huh? I missed that. Oh well. Next time. Look at the old uh, Mackinac Bridge here. They're flying the British flag too.
here we go. Gonna continue on. The endless RVer TV journey. <laughs> Love it. Uh, from here, I'm gonna take the state route that runs right along uh, Lake Huron, dropping south down to that RV park. Here's our downtown area. They got really good parking for RVs too. But there are shops everywhere, restaurants. Mackinac City is definitely uh, geared up for tourism, travelers from all over and very RV friendly. A couple years ago I stayed at the KOA here and it was really, really nice. Right, we're gonna cut over here and get out of town. Start dropping south. Thank you for watching this once in a lifetime video on Michigan, the upper part from Sault Ste. Marie, clear down here to Mackinac City. This is one epic trip, definitely one for the memory books. I would do it again. Be sure to check out all the other once in a lifetime videos on RVer TV. Thanks for watching. Talk soon.